Disclaimer. Please forgive me now for there may be mispronunciations in this video. Pete, when they said you had to get out, when you, that, that you had to move out of Centralia, how did you feel? Terrible. He wasn't going. <laughs> I wasn't going to go. He wasn't going. There are plenty of ghost towns in the United States that can and would send chills down our spines. But one in particular was the inspiration for the Silent Hill movie. The town is known as Centralia and is in Pennsylvania. But well, let's start at the beginning. It was May 27th, 1962, when a small team of workers were tasked with cleaning up the landfill site just outside of Centralia. They had done this plenty of times before, setting fire to the accumulated waste and letting it burn, and then dousing the whole thing with water. However, this time the fire didn't go out. This event would set the town to remain smoking even till this day. At least, that's what some may say. Before the fire, Centralia was the home of about a few thousand residents. Their main business in Centralia was coal mining, and for more than a hundred years, coal had been extracted from tunnels beneath the town. Was it really a shock when the burning of the landfill ignited the coal beneath the town? Over the next few days, smoke was seen rising from the landfill several times, and even with the volunteer firefighters that came again and again to pour water on the smoking garbage and use bulldozers to stir up the material in the landfill, the smoke kept coming. In 1979, locals became more aware of the scale of the problem when a gas station owner and then mayor John Coddington inserted a dipstick into one of the underground tanks to check the fuel level. However, when he withdrew it, it seemed hot. He lowered a thermometer into the tank on a string and discovered the temperature of the gasoline in the tank was 172 Fahrenheit, or 77.8 Celsius. The fires were becoming a problem. The fire would get more attention on February 14, 1981, when a 12-year-old resident named Todd Dumboski fell into a sinkhole that was 4 feet wide by 100 150 feet deep, then suddenly opened up beneath his feet in a backyard. Luckily, he was able to grab some roots and hold on until his cousin, 14-year-old Eric Wolfgang, pulled him out of the hole. The steam that rose from the hole was tested and found to contain a lethal level of carbon monoxide. Six families moved out when their carbon monoxide monitors registered dangerous levels in their homes. To many, that was the last straw. In 1983, the U.S. Congress allocated more than $42 million for relocation efforts. Nearly all the residents accepted the government's buyout offers. More than 1,000 people moved out of town, and 50 structures were demolished. By 1990, the census recorded 63 remaining residents. That wasn't all. Then Centralia Mine Fire extended beneath the village of Bynesville, a short distance to the south, and required it also to be abandoned. Centralia's population would decline from 1,000 in 1980 to 5 residents in 2017. Most of the real estate was claimed under eminent domain in 1992 and condemned by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Centralia's zip code was discontinued by the post office in 2002. The seven remaining residents as of October 29, 2013 were allowed to remain in Centralia until their deaths, after which the rights to their houses will be taken through eminent domain. The fire is suspected to burn for another 250 more years, but when people go visit the town now and its very popular graffiti highway, there hasn't been too much of signs of smoke rising from the ground. They are now covering the graffiti highway with dirt mounds. What do you think of Centralia, Pennsylvania? Do you think it is a ghost town? Did you like this video? Want to support this channel and get early access? Feel free to check out my Patreon page where I create content on cryptids, hauntings, alien abductions, serious killers, and much more. Can support me there? Like, comment, and subscribe here.